What is the tenths digit in the decimal representation of a certain number? Statement number one tells us that the number is less than one third. Well, one third as a decimal is 0.333 repeating. Well, if the number is less than that, it could be anything with 0.1, anything with 0.2, or it could be anything even ending in 3.1 or 3.2. It could be any of those. And so by itself, this statement does not allow us to determine uniquely what is the tenths digit. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Now forget about statement number one entirely. Statement number two tells us that the number is greater than one quarter. Well, one quarter as a decimal is 0.25. Well, if it's greater than 0.25, it could be anything from 0.3 up to 0.9. It could even be something like 2.6, 2.7, etc. So again, there are a whole bunch of choices for what the tenths digit might be. This statement by itself is insufficient. Now we combine the two statements. Because the two statements are insufficient, we have to see if we put them together, would we have sufficient information? So now combining the statements, we see that n would have to be less than one third and greater than one quarter. And another way to say that is it would have to be greater than 0.25, but less than 1.333. So, what are the possibilities? Well, n could be something like 0.26, or it could be something like 0.31. Both of those are examples of numbers that are bigger than a quarter and less than a third. And notice that they don't have the same tenths digits. The tenth digit could be two or three. So even with the combined statements, we do not have sufficient information to uniquely determine what the tenths digit would be. And so combined, the statements are insufficient, and the answer is E.